New in the building? Yeah, I just moved in Monday. Oh, you like it so far? Mm-hmm. Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big jugs. I mean, your boobs are huge. I mean, I want to squeeze them. Oh. Mama! Communion After Dark
Community After Dark, February 24th, last show of February. Woo! It's almost over with. We're going to be um, giving you my set here, which you just heard. I'm DJ Paradise. Yay. Um, that was Surveillance with the song Voyeur, and that is off the Oceana CD that was just self-released. That is, of course, Tom Shear on vocals, if you haven't figured that one out yet. And that is his new um, album that he just finished, which right now is on Bandcamp. You can go there and buy it. Physical CD is coming out, I guess, soon. And then iTunes and Amazon, I believe he's going to have it on there soon as well. But um, I got that through his Bandcamp site. So very cool if you like Assemblage 23. Yeah, definitely. All right, prior to that, you heard State of the Union. About time these guys came back, and they did the song here, My Time Away, and that's from the release called My Time Away, which is out on Infected Recordings. And prior to that, an album I've been waiting for, brand new Seabound with the song For Another Day. That's off of their new album, Speak in Storms on Dependent. Lots of new music, lots and lots this last couple of weeks here in the scene, so plenty of stuff to go by. And then prior to that, you heard Aesthetic Perfection with their new song called Lights Out. 
Ready to go. And that was off the new album Till Death, which is on Metropolis Records. And I started my set off with brand new God Module with their song Black and Blue off the False Face CD that is out now on Metropolis Records as well. Yeah, a cool song. Yeah, very cool. Yes, a little um, poppy for God Module, which I like. I know, that's a little unusual. Jason's going poppy. <laughs> Good job, Jason. I actually really like that CD. Very cool CD. If you have not heard the new God Module, like I said, it's one of the many new releases that have come out. Definitely go check out the new God Module CD. Oh, and now it's our shot of the week. Larry White, you can post this on your page again. What is it? It looks like urine. Smells like pineapples. Yeah, we could go with the pineapple urine shot. I like that. All right. All right. Hey, we got the Dark Princess here doing a shot yes, with us as right. well. Dark Princess. Yeah. All right, cheers. 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 No drink, you drink. Whoa, that's not bad. That was mm. yummy. Yeah. That was mm. just basically pineapple type fruit juice with urine. No, no <laughs> urine in that. Peach schnapps and um, triple sec. Yeah, urine's next week. It was good. Yeah, it was yeah, good. it was a very good shot. It's very good. You'll have to make me a drink like that. Yeah, it was good. It was See, great. Dark Princess likes it. Yeah. Did you want to say something? Oh, just look forward to. Uh, I have some more uh, dark nursing stories for you. Maybe next week. <laughs> uh -oh. I almost made one of my fellow students puke. <laughs> We'll save that for the anniversary show, which is next week. And that's going to be a blowout show next week for sure. So come back for that. And next week, our six-year anniversary show with guest DJs galore and guests all over the studio. Hopefully, we'll even have like some of the people from the past back. So. And DJ Gold's climbing out of the toilet, I think, for that show, I believe. And Kiger, DJ Kiger will be here as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yay. Lots and lots. The studio is going to be so packed with people that we're going to be sitting on top of each other. And a little bit later in the show, we have an exclusive interview with Rotter Sand, who is uh, appearing in the Alt Fest over in England in August. I hope you stay tuned for it because it's excellent. Yes, we feel very privileged to have had a chance to talk to the guy from Rotter Sand, an awesome band. Hopefully, um, we'll be hearing new music from them in the near future as well. Definitely stay tuned for that interview. And of course, we'll have our normal sets as well throughout the show. So lots to come. And yeah, we may have a few more interviews down the line this year as well. So Yes, and Mark Roberts is in Florida now. Woo! He's not here right now, but if he shows up, we may have him on the show as well for a brief moment. And to catch you up, Mark Roberts is our number one fan, we're pretty sure. And we we love talking about him. So um, if anyone else wants to be our number one fan, you have to fight for it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know about all that. Anyways. All right, but that was nice of Sherry. Okay, so we're done. Um, Griffin's next, and I don't know what you're playing. A uh, clan of Zymox. This is Communion After Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Griffin.
desperately want without desire And there's no heat without a flame And no spark will light a fire It won't come for who would wait I preach to the choir But are you gone to light my fire? Light my fire
Abgrund, der darauf wartet, uns zu verschlingen. Chaos ist kein Abgrund. Chaos ist eine Leiter. Viele, die versuchen, sie zu erklimmen, scheitern. Und dürfen es wieder versuchen. Sie zerbrechen an ihrem Sturz. Und manchen wird die Gelegenheit geboten, sie zu erklimmen. Doch sie weigern sich. Sie klammern sich ans Reich. Oder an die Götter. Oder an die Liebe. Illusionen. Nur die Leiter ist nicht der Aufschluss. Listening to communionafterdark.com. I'm DJ Griffin, and that was Knockmare with a song Chaos from their release called Fiend Build or something like that. <laughs> and that's out on Trisol. And prior to that, Brian gave us New Faderhead with the song Someone Else's Dream from the album Atoms and Emptiness, which is released on his own label, L Tracks. I truly believe that the name of that band is Faderhead. Not fader head anymore. It's fodder. <laughs> He's gonna call us up one day and be like, "No." It's fodder head. No. Um. All right. Prior to that, Griffin played brand new Esper Machine, which was a shock. That just came out and out of the blue. And that is the new album called Into Bronze. And that was the song Into Bronze. And that is a self-released album. I guess he's not on a label this time. So you can go to his band camp to buy that. Brand new, though, Esper Machine 10-track album, too. And before that, I played Enter and Fall with a song I Will with from the release called Isolation, which is out on Emo Biz. And I started off with Clan of Zymox, new stuff from them, with a song called Loves on Diet. And that's from the release Matters of Wind, Body, and Soul out on Metropolis Records. Now, Clan of Zymox, Faderhead, and Nightmare are appearing in Altfest, which we partnered with. So we'll be bringing occasionally some interviews, such as Rotter Sand, which we'll have coming up in a few minutes. And we actually played a few more bands from Altfest on there. Isn't that right, Sherry? Yep, that's right. Also, Aesthetic Perfection is going to be at Altfest. And, oh, there are a ton of bands. So you can go to our website, to the festival section, and there's a part on Altfest, or you can find Altfest online, on their Facebook. Um, we've got bands like Combi Christ, Peter Murphy, Diary of Dreams, Beauty of Jemina, 242, Suicide Commando. I'm going off the top of my head here. There's my so favorite, many. My favorite, Mono Inc. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Mono Ink is going to oh, be there. I, and I Blut Ingle. Mono Ink. All right, yeah, and that's uh, August, uh, what is that, 15th through the 17th. Yep. Great festival. So now our interview with Rodersand. Woo! Come back and make sure you listen to the whole interview. And then Sherry's coming. A force divine to make our minds one family. Don't you know the meaning is the drug? Hello, hello. Hi, Rascal. Hello, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm DJ Mouse. I'm DJ oh. Griffin. Oh, cool. I'm here too, DJ Paradise or Mark Paradise. You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a little slow. <laughs> So, nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. Thanks for taking time to talk with us today. Yes, thank you for being interested. Tell our listeners a little bit about how Rotter Sam came about, and weren't you in a band called Fair Sex? Yeah, that's true. The Fair Sex, yeah. We had some some releases also in the States on Van Richter Records that time. It was my, my first band in the 80s. I was still a schoolboy and was, was drafted into that band. <laughs> And so I became I became a kind of you know dark wave guy <laughs> with that band. So you left that band and then started Rotter Sand after that, correct? Yeah, yeah, you can say. I mean, I never officially quit uh, the Fair Sex, but from time to time we do things, and and I mean we are friends. So what prompted you to start up Rotter Sand? Well. Uh, I was not I was not involved anymore in this in this scene, you know. The um, I mean, most of the '90s, I um, I went to techno clubs and, and not dark wave clubs anymore. And then for a sudden, um, a friend of mine from my basketball team in Cologne that time, he yeah he he took me to one of the gothic nights in in Cologne, and and then I realized that there has been a lot of development in that scene. You know, the the DJs have been playing bands like Covenant, VNV Nation, and things like stuff like this, and and one. You know, I I didn't know them. I never heard that kind of music as I you know frequented more the techno clubs in the city. And then, uh, but I I really could hook into that, and I really could identify with that very easily because there was still this kind of 80s touch, melancholic, new romantic, oh, new yeah. wave touch in that music. And and so for me, it was very easy to connect, but at the same time, it was more modern than, than this 80s dark wave shit. <laughs> <laughs> that we did yeah and and then i i felt like a bit motivated i felt like wow that's really that's touching me that's it's cool it sounds cool it sounds a little bit of this modern music that that i learned to love and then at the same time it had this i could feel and sense this 80s feeling in that right and yeah and that was that was really giving me a, a really a kick at the same time, the the technological development was was really fast. So I didn't do music anymore for seven or eight years, and um, just with my guitars at home. And then I bought me an iMac, and I realized that all the things that meant really effort <laughs> to produce and to do in in my time, in my first time. That, that was now very easy. It was so easy to catch ideas and keep them in a computer. Yeah, you know, um, I don't know how old you are, but but for us, in uh, it was really late eighties. It was still sampling. You know, uh-huh. we you, you had a sequencer program, but you still still sampled everything um, to control it by the computer. That right. was the time. I mean, that was normal. Now I could sing directly into into the computer, and and I had access to so big sound libraries. You know, and I was really really crazy um, and I just locked myself for a few weeks and then that was exactly the time when, when the first layouts for Rotazant songs had been developed and then I asked uh, Gunther um, who I knew since a couple of years already as a good producer and 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 a partner for making music and he also felt that he felt that nice he he had the feeling that that there's something special in it and helped me to make easy chords (laughs) 
more symphonic you know that's that's really one of his big talents and big big uh, skills that he has he has really a very very deep music education much much deeper than than mine and so songs like merging oceans and life light and you know all the, the first album stuff was written in a way right we're definitely glad you started the band so we wanted to talk as well about of course alt fest so are you excited about the festival oh yes Yes, definitely yes. It's it's long time that we've been to to England and we really love the the British cl- uh, crowd. We really they rave, huh? It's really a, a raving audience and it was a good match from the beginning of our career to play. And what do you think about the lineup? The other bands that you'll be playing with at Altfest? I'm just uh, extremely proud and happy that that we play before Front 2 for 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely cool. <laughs> because I I am one of the biggest Front 2 for 2 fans in the world, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. It was always, when we talked about uh, the Fairsex, the first band, it was always um, Mick, the singer of the Fairsex. He was very much into Skinny Puppy and I was the Front 2 for 2 guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I mean, it's really a big lineup. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm really excited because it's very big lineup. We we really play a fantastic position um, on that festival, and and I'm really happy to to go back to England. I love the crowd. And uh, we know that your last release was um, the EP "Waiting to Be Born" that came out in yeah. 2010 on Trisol. Yes. When can we expect some new material? Yeah, we're working on stuff. So there's a new few new songs in the moment that, that we work on. Um, Krishan is very busy with production in the moment. Are you still going to be releasing music through Trisol? Definitely, yes. Um, and for the States, Metropolis, I think. Um, we do a re-release of Truth is Fanatic, our first album. And on that release, there will be two new tracks also. So uh, just one last question. Can you tell us about um, an album that uh, was the most difficult to put out? And also uh, about how some of your songs sound like Pink Floyd. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the Pink Floyd touch comes, I think that's really... Gunther once says that as a little child, I must have been uh, drowned in a barrel uh, with Pink Floyd. I I could believe that because you'd sound just like him. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, I'm really Pink Floyd addicted. Um, that's really deep uh, anchored in in myself. I don't know why. And the chords are so nice, easy, you know. And so it's it's easy for me to to play Pink Floyd songs at home. <laughs> and then I'm just using the same chords, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no, but it's it ha- it has become a fun thing for us to do, you know, that that we have this Floydy touch on on every album. I would say to to come back to to the other question. I would say the um, the toughest album, maybe it was uh, 1023. And when I listened to it, and I did so um, just a few days ago. For a long time, I didn't listen to it, but a few days ago, I played it, and I realized that this might be the most artistic album of of Rotterdam. It, it might have the most depth uh, within and that's because I don't know it might be because maybe we sensed after um, welcome to goodbye maybe we sensed um, that that we are really going into the um, into a certain direction that that we like that we love but at the same time we had the feeling on the need for also being a bit more quiet or being a bit more deeper again, you know? We, we described ourselves sometimes with songs like Undone, for instance, we described ourselves a little bit like the scooter of the dark wave scene, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I really like it, you know, because once your, you know, your image is ruined, you can do what you want, <laughs> so... Yeah. Uh, I really appreciate that. But um, but maybe you know this this need for for doing 1023 was coming out of that. Maybe this is what I thought when I was listening to it um, last week. Well, thank you for calling us, Rascal. Yeah, thanks again. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 All right, we are heading back to the music, and I am starting off with Cyrus. 
This is Communion After Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Mouse.
matter with all the other scum. <laughs>
Welcome back to communionafterdark.com. This is Mouse, and you just heard my set. I finished off with Logic and Olivia with the song Beautiful, and that's off of their album Don't Look Back out on Dance Macabre Records. And before that, you heard XP8 with the song Wanted. That was remixed by Halcyon Days. And that's from the release called Meatheads Lost HD out on 2393 Records. All right, prior to that, Mouse played Halo Effects, the song The Big Lie. And that was a chain reactor mix on the blah, 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 blah. Okay. On the Code Mixing Record Remix album on EK Product. That's a new ha- Halo Effect. Um, see, it's out with about two discs full of remixes. From They're from Italy. Wasn't that nice? <laughs> That's just awesome. And I started out the set with Cyrus uh, with the song Scum Sucker off of Broken Hearts Corporate Minds, which is now out on Death Watch Asia. Great, great release. If you haven't listened to that before, we all love that. Yeah, such a pleasant song. Very pleasant. Pleasant, pleasant. So anyways, um, I hope everybody enjoyed the Rotter Sam re- uh, interview. Remix. <laughs> interview. <laughs> Have another drink? Yeah, I haven't even had any. That's a problem. Um, but the interview was uh, was a uh, like again was something that we really feel privileged to have done, and we appreciate very much Rasco or Rasco. I don't even know how you say his name. Really, I, he never really yeah. told us exactly. But um, just taking his time out to actually do the interview. He's a very nice guy, awesome, and I can't wait for the band to come back and uh, make some new music here soon. And um, before we go, we're gonna do our anniversary show next week. So please come back. It's gonna be a big show next week. We're gonna have a ton of guests in here. DJ Kiger, DJ Gold. Hey, Mark Roberts is here from all the way from Seattle. All right. Yeah. He'll probably be here for the anniversary show, I'm guessing, next week. So he can join in with the festivities. We'll be doing a shot every single set. So that should make for an interesting show. Hopefully I won't end up in the shower again. (laughs) That was one of the best. Please don't make the worst shot the first shot. Yeah, well, I'll try not to. I'll do my best. And we got Nick from Utsuts in here as well. Well, Nick is um, in the process of making his new album, which is called Ancients and Moderns. Yes. All right. Ooh. Sounds kind of like a take on on, um, Clash of the Titans. (laughs) It's sort of uh, going to be based on old school, new school type of ideas. It, it, ba- back in the hundreds, there was um, a whole controversy between, I believe it was England and France, about uh, the way they should teach uh, things in literature and poetry. and, and th- So today, everybody is like talking about, well, the old stuff, the new stuff, and what, what is good, what is not, what, what should be played, what shouldn't. And, and the whole frame of thought is um, ancients and moderns going from how the style has some of it changed, some of it didn't, and how it's going to evolve, and it's a school of thought of old and new. And when's this going to come out? We're hoping more towards the uh, end of this year, because we're still tweaking a few things here and there musically, but I would say more of the winter of this year. All right, great. Well, hey, look, two interviews. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we kept that one short. Though. Yeah, that was shorter. Yeah, we but have to do a longer one with Nick here. Yeah, we will as it gets closer to his album release here in the future. So um, we didn't really get to do any shout outs this week, so we'll do that next week. I'm sure we'll be able to fit in some next week, but don't you know think that we do not recognize all the people that have been commenting or have been sending us messages on our website yeah. and on YouTube. And so it's very much appreciated, and we will definitely make sure that we get you some shout outs because i know there's a few people who asked us for that and that will be coming so come back next week and uh enjoy bye oh wait all right yeah mark cut me off again all right we're done um my last song will be rotter sands with the song beneath the stars this came out on uh random is resistance in 2009 on trisol records
Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. Oh, 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 oh.